Hello YouTube, Echo here. Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. Um, I'm getting over a pretty bad case of bronchitis. Um, I don't know why, but it seems like every time I make a video I'm not feeling well or I'm sick or something. Um, and I am sick kind of often. Um, I have a compromised immune system, so um, there's that. But anyway, I am here today with another haul video. So I went to a local thrift store. Um, what's it called? Save More or something? I don't know. It's just a little like local place. I don't think it's a chain, but I'd never been there before. So I decided to stop in and here is my receipt. So I paid a total of $208.37. I got 68 items. And so the average cost per, um, cost per item rather was $3.06. So, um, that's about average. Um, you know what I what I pay in my local um, thrift stores. I usually go to ones where um, where most of the items are are half price, just because who you know who wants to pay full you know full price for something. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. If I start hacking and coughing, I apologize. And also, if you hear uh, cats meowing in the background, that's because it's about uh, 5:30 p.m. and my cats get dinner at around seven. And my fat cat, Oracle, usually starts screaming for dinner at around 4 to 4.30. Pippin, get out of the bag. Sorry, that would be my other cat who loves plastic bags. And I have an empty plastic bag over here um, to put the items that I show you guys in. So I'm, And he's curling up and playing in there. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the first item I snagged was this beautiful... Um, I have to... Is it an off the shoulder? Yes, it is an off the shoulder. For a second I was like, is this a skirt or a top? It is a top. It's a beautiful deep purple, kind of flowy, billowy, um, kind of scoop neck or off the shoulder top. Um, has really pretty billowy sleeves. And this is uh, Diane von Furstenberg and it's a size four. I haven't ripped off the, the little price tags yet so I do apologize about that but there's the tag there so I guess uh, like this says uh, I paid three dollars and ninety three cents for it so I thought that was beautiful I've um I've only found a few uh Diane von Furstenberg um Furstenberg I can never speak when I do videos I don't know why but I've only found a few uh DVF pieces but they've all done really well so I picked that one up too um Okay, this one I just thought was really cute. It's this kind of gauzy, sheer. It's a lot more pink than the camera is showing. And then it has like all this metallic threading to it as well. Just a really cute, kind of like a party top or something. And this is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is by the brand uh, Cook or Coach or Coke. It's um, K O C H. Um, it's not a brand I'd ever, I'd ever heard of. Um, I paid $2.92. Um, but I looked up comps briefly and it looks like, um, it looks like this brand does fairly well. And I just thought this was a really cute top. So I grabbed that. No, Pippin. No bag for you. Oh my gosh. I just got home from work a little while ago and my little cat Pippin tends to get the zoomies every time I go home, I get home. So he's going a little crazy right now. Okay, next item is this really cool band t-shirt. It kind of has dolman sleeves and it is for Radiohead. And it has all of their uh, 2017, I believe. Um, 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 yes, 2017 um, tour dates on the back, and it has all the different um, locations, which is cool. So if you attended one of those concerts, it's a great, um, you know, great piece of merchandise. And this was $2.92, and then there's the tag for that. So I'm not um, going to do a lot of comps on this video because there's a, a lot of stuff like a lot of brands I haven't gotten before so I'm just not sure but if I think on um think about it on on items that are familiar I will go ahead and and do comps okay um this item is not going to be for sale this is uh, I picked this up for a really good friend of mine 
Um, it's just a Peaky Blinders shirt. And if you've never heard of Peaky Blinders, it's a television show um, featuring Killian Murphy. And it's really good. It's about, um, it's about a ba kind of based on a, on at least a, a true um, or a real like gang in um, Birmingham, UK or England. Um, really interesting story. Very bloody and violent. So if you don't like uh, like gore and violence, don't watch it. But if you can handle Game of Thrones, you can handle Peaky Blinders. Um, so yeah, this is from my friend Rat who is like the biggest Peaky fan I know of. Okay, this is another brand I had never heard of. I found quite a few of those, so I'm always excited to, to pick up, you know, new to me brands. And it's just this really cute blouse with just the, I don't know, like, it's almost like a tank top, but on, you know, a little bit thicker straps. But just really cute. It has this like eyelet detail at the bottom. And then the, I paid, um, it was $3.93, but then it was on sale for $1.91. So I thought that was pretty good. Ugh, I don't know why, but this, uh, this thrift store staples their tags to, to the brand names. So they're kind of a little tricky to get off without like ripping things. But, um, Anyway, the brand name on this is Antonio Milani, I think. Yeah, Milani. It's a size two. And again, comps looked really good on this. So probably 30 to 35, maybe. If I remember correctly, I might not. I don't know. Um, I was only there for a couple hours because I, um, I really wasn't feeling well. So I didn't even get through all of the store. I tend to be pretty slow. Um, and that day was a couple days ago. I just, you know, I was still fairly sick, so I was going even slower. So I'd say I got about maybe half the store done. So I definitely need to go there and hit it again because I feel like I got some really good stuff. So anyway, next item is this really cute Free People top. And it has this kind of like overlay detail on the front with this like cutout. And then it has um, like almost a paisley design. It's still daytime. Let me um, but let me try and turn on the light here. I don't think this is gonna help very much. I might have to pull open the blinds. Sorry about that. Um, wasn't that prepared today, but anyway. So yeah, this is Free People and it's a size large, which is great. Um, as I've said before with Free People stuff, I usually find like extra small and small. So anytime I find, you know, medium or up, I'm always super happy. So this one was $3.93. And I'll probably ask like 25 to 30 on that. Okay, let me, I will be right back. I'm sorry, I'm going to go out of frame here to um, open some blinds. I didn't realize how dark it was in this corner. Hi, Pippin. Can you move? No, you don't want to move? Okay, you can stay in the window. Okay. So sorry about that. I know that's like super unprofessional, but I'm not a professional anyway, so whatever. Okay, next item is this really cool Rise Against tank top. And Rise Against is actually one of my favorite bands. So if this had been my size, I totally would have kept it for myself. But yeah, it's really cool. It has this like, like floral print in the graphic. And then the back is just solid black. It's, I don't think there's any size in here. Yeah, there's no tag. I didn't check for a material tag. Let me, let me see here. Okay, so there is a material tag. It's pretty faded though. Okay, it's an extra small. Okay, that's what it looked like. And I paid uh, 191 for this. So I'll probably ask around 20 to 25. I think band tees are still doing pretty well. Okay, next thing is I found a bunch of cabbie. Um, I picked up some of it and um, the rest of it I left. But I thought this was a really pretty um, sleeveless top. It's lined, has a really nice pattern, has the zip on the back. And I paid, it was uh, $3.93, but 
Again, it was on sale for $1.91. And the nice thing about Cabby is um, on the inside, the, the care tag or the material tag or whatever you want to call this interior tag, um, it'll have it'll have the style number and you can plug that into Google and find out the exact name for it, which is always nice. So this is a size extra small. It's a bit um, on the oversized side though. So yeah, I thought that was really cute. Not bad for $2. Okay, so this was kind of an exciting find. So this is my first time finding the brand Reformation, or is it Reformation? I think it's Reformation. I don't know. But anyway, first time finding this brand. Um, the size tag is cut out in it, so I'll just do measurements, which is fine because I do measurements on everything anyway. Um, it feels like silk. Let me... Let me see if it's silk or poly. Do, do, do. Oh, actually, there's a, a size tag right there. So it's extra small slash small. So that's nice. I didn't see that before. Um, but there's no... Um, there's no material noted. But I'm, I'm pretty sure this is silk. And it says dry clean only. And usually if it's polyester, you can, you know, you can wash it in the, the washing machine. But um, anyway, it's really cute. It's not all the way buttoned up, but it has these really cute, um, like, I'm guessing faux leather, like, tips on the collar. So it's kind of simple, but still really cute. Just... So there's that. Um... Again, this is my first time finding this brand, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna list that at. I'll have to look up comps and see how it does. Okay, next. Is this Cabby as well? No, this is Fabletics. So I found a, um, a, a couple pieces of um, inexpensive Fabletics, and I've had pretty good luck with the, the couple pieces of Fabletics that I've had before. So I decided to go ahead and pick them up. Why do you look so weird? Oh, I just see a turn you. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, and it's just this cute kind of cream or ivory tank. And it has this um, kind of like, almost like a cowl or slouch back to it. Really cute. Um, and the way that it's kind of draped is almost like asymmetrical. And then it's a size extra small. There's the tag. So I'll have to try and find this um, this style and see if I can check comps. I don't know if Fabletic stuff comes with the, a style number. Let me see, this one does have its tearaway tag. Okay, yeah, so it does have a style number. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to look it up with the style number because um, the other items that I've, I've gotten from Fabletics um, didn't have that. So I'll have to plug that into Google and see if I can come up with anything. Righty. Next is another free people item. And this was $4.94. I thought this was super pretty. It's this kind of, um, watercolor, like kind of tie dye, asymmetrical tucked front wrap tank shirt thing really really pretty in person um the camera isn't really doing it justice but yeah super pretty it's a size medium there's the tag there along with this little price tag it's gonna be heck trying to get all these price tags off since they're all um stapled on there but anyway yeah probably um 25 to 30 on that one I thought this was pretty. I don't remember what. Oh, this is cabbie. Okay, so this is new tag cabbie. And it's um, it's like a cream or a light taupe or tan with like a faux lace detail on it. Really, really pretty. I thought this was gorgeous. It's a size extra small. And there's the tag. 
We all say new tag cabby, even though this tag's like four years old, but it still differenti differentiates it between the old tag. Um, and the style is down here, so that's good. It's polyester. So yeah, I just thought this was really pretty. You know, you can dress it up or dress it down. So probably 25 to 30 on that, but I will have to look it up. Okay, this is, okay. So this is a brand that I've never found myself, but I've heard other sellers mention it before. Um, and it was 292, so I decided to go ahead and give it a chance. And this is uh, Young, Fabulous, and Broke. And it's just this really pretty kind of tie-dye tank top. And there's the tag there, Young, Fabulous, Broke. And it's a size large, which is great. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna ask for this one. I will have to look it up again since I'm not that familiar with it. Uh, okay, next I have a Madewell little spaghetti strap um, V-neck tank, just like a pretty kind of blushy pink color. It was $1.91. And it's going to be hard to show some of these tags, and I do apologize for not, rip, you know, taking them off before, but there's kind of the Madewell tag. And this is a size large as well. Um, and let me see if this has the style. Most Madewell items also have a style number. Um, yes, so this uh, style number is here, and it's from summer 2017. That's the other great thing about Madewell is that since it's a part of the J. Crew family, they usually have um, like the season and the year on them. So you can know right away if they're older or more recent. So probably around 20 for that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay, Pippin, you can't be in the inventory, love. And here's my little troublemaker who pretty much always has to say hello. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Are you happy mommy's home? Are you happy mommy's home? I love you. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Sorry about that. Those of you with fur children understand my dilemma. Okay. Next thing is a standard James Purse little tank. And v neck and it has um the nice details it has like these twist straps which is cool and it's just a kind of pretty like stormy blue color um yeah this one i'm it, it's gonna be really hard to show the tag um it's a size three which translates to a size large because james purse has the um vanity sizing and this one was on sale it was $2.92 and it was on sale for $1.91 and I'll probably um, ask anywhere between 25 to 35 on this just depending on what comps say okay I thought this was super cute so this is by philosophy and it's this really fun like it's like that shade between yellow and green and then black striped and it has like the contrast striping on the on the straps which is really cute and then kind of like the slouch back i think this is super fun and there's the tag there philosophy size large so i'll have to um again look this up and see if i can find some comps for it i've only found um one other piece by that brand that was Kind of interesting looking okay this i just thought was fun this is um kind of an older item i don't know if they sell this brand anymore um i know they did in like the late i want to say like late 90s to early 2000s and it's um trip nyc with two p's there's that trip and it's a size one which 
is vanity sizing, I believe, because this is not a size one. So um, it might be like a plus one. Um, let me see if I can put this on, because otherwise it's gonna be really hard to, to show, or at least somewhat <laughs> somewhat put it on. There we go. So it's, it's a halter top and it has these hook and eye closures. It's black with red thin stripes, has this cool collar. It's actually a really neat shirt. And then it has um, open back here. So now I'm getting the glare from the sun. I'm trying to figure out which window it is because I have two windows behind me. I think it's the close one giving me that glare. Let me see if I can close that. One second, going out of frame again. I do apologize. Okay, maybe, yes, no. Sorry, I have like glare like right here and I want you guys to be able to see the items that I get. Okay, next one. Do, do. Okay, this is a really cute, just little cami or tank. And it has, um, and a black, black lace on the top of it. And this is by Torrid. And it's a size double zero, which in Torrid sizing, I want to say that's a size 10, 8 or 10. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. There's an item number here, and then um, it says when it came out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it came out summer 2016, so it's only a few years old. And it's a nice classic design, so, um, so I don't mind that it's a few years old. But there's the tag there. So probably around 20 for this. And as always, I do apologize for my squeaky chair. Okay, what are you? Okay, this is a cute little top with the tie neck, little ruffle details, and this is by Meta Rue, which is anthropology, and it's a size small. So there's, mm, there's that, size small. So probably around 20 to 25 for that. <clears throat> Okay, next is another cabbie piece, I believe. Yes. And what side are you? Mm, I don't know. This stupid price tag is right on the size. I think it says large. Large or 14? I don't know. One of the two, large or 14. I will, it'll be in the listing. If you're interested in it or anything, um, please leave a comment and I will get with you. So it's a really pretty kind of um, foresty green kind of uh, v-neck sleeveless top, just nice and simple. So probably 20, 25 on that. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Next, I have, ooh, another Feed People piece. Okay, this one needs to be buttoned up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I usually, do all the buttoning and take all the price tags off and do all that stuff um, before I do my video. But I literally just got home from my real job um, and I wanted to get this video up, so I didn't take the time to do that. So I do apologize. So I paid $1.91 for this and it's a really pretty um, teal color tank. It has these like little like straps on the sides, which are cute, a little like mock neck. And then it has this uh, keyhole with the buttons on the back. And this is Free People, and it's a size medium. There's that. We all know what the newer Free, Pe Free People tag is. So probably around 25 for that. Squeak, squeak, squeak goes my chair. Okay, this is a very wrinkly and needs to be uh, steamed top just a cute little cami slash tank it has these um it's like almost like gauzy material under the i think it goes under the bust well it starts under the bust and then kind of comes up 
kind of around with the shape of the underbust, which is cute. And this is actually Marc Jacobs, and it's a size four. There's that. I'm guessing this is silk, because I know um, the Marc Jacobs, this this Hiron line of his is pretty good stuff. So yeah, 100% silk. So, um, so yeah, just a, a cute little kind of simple cami or tank. Um, I'm gonna have to look up um, his stuff because I don't know I don't know how the Marc Jacobs line does compared to the Mark by Marc Jacobs line because I've only found that line before. So I think this is a little bit higher end. So I will have to see what um, I can get for that. Oh, up next, doo, 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 doo. we have a Lucky Brand size medium, cute little tank with um, some like embroidered detail on the front. And then it has like a sheer crocheted panel in the back. Just really cute, kind of perfect for summer. And I'll probably ask around 20 to 25 for that. Um, Lucky Brand does pretty well for me. Um, yep. Next we have something that somebody has DIY'd the straps. Let me take those, let me take this off. Hmm, okay. Okay, here we go. So it's a cute little tank with nice like flower pattern. It's kind of ribbed and the has a bunch of like twists in the, the straps in the back. And this is also free people. And this is a, a free people tag that I've never seen before. So I'm guessing it's um, one of the older ones. Every time I think that I have seen every free, free people tag that has ever existed, I find another one. So this is another one that I've never seen. It says free people and it has like old fashioned tennis rackets on it, size large, super cute. Um, so probably around 20 for that. Okay, next we have, uh, I think this is a band shirt, I think. Um, anyway, it's um, Five Seconds of Summer, which I think is a band. I don't know, I'm old. I don't know all the new bands anymore. Um, I'll have to look it up, but yeah, Five Seconds of Summer, um, size medium. I just, I liked the, the artwork, like the style of the writing and it was $1.91, so decided to pick it up. So I will double check on that in probably around 2025. I like to have a variety of band t-shirts available. Okay, so this one was kind of confusing. So this is um, Rag and Bone Jean and it's a size medium. Um, but it has what I think is the letter A on it. Or no, maybe it's maybe it's a four. Is there a no? I think it's an A. But why? Like, what does it stand for? Maybe it's. A, I don't know. Yeah, I have I have no idea. Um, but I do like Rag and Bone. Um, they have really good quality stuff, and they've sold well for me. Um, and they get attention. So. Yeah, I I don't know why there's an A there. It's, um. So I'm going to have to do some research on that and try and figure out why there's an A. Maybe someone with the name that starts with an A will like it. I don't know. But I got it. Okay, what do we have here? We have here... What is... Mm. Okay, so I think this... I think the tag on this says um, Viola or Viola which I want to say is anthropology. But anyway, I thought it was super cute. Just this little tank and it has um, smocking underneath the bust for a nice flattering fit to show off your, your little tiny waist, which I do not have. Um, but yeah, just a really cute design. It has like the check pattern on the straps and then this kind of geometric print on the rest of it. It was $2.92, and then I'll try and show you that 
yeah, you really can't see that, but it does say Viola, I promise. And it's a size zero. And yeah, the RN is 66170. So either Anthro or Urban Outfitters. But yeah, I just thought it was cute. So probably 2025 on that one. Okay, that's the first bag. Two more bags to go. Okay, so I picked up one pair of shoes. Um, shoes are not my forte at all. Um, but I thought these were kind of cute. And it's a brand that I've heard does kind of, you know, okay or well. I don't know. Um, so they're dance goes. And they're just these cute and comfy little mini heel sandal things. They have little, like, braided details. Um, they have a little bit of wear. Like, this one has a little bit of wear, like, on the toe here. But um, nothing too terrible. And um, they were $3.93. So I thought that was, you know, a good price to kind of take a gamble on them. So I don't know, maybe $20. I don't know. I need to stop getting things that I don't know anything about. Um, I also got a couple of purses that were um, inexpensive. So I got this. I think this is like a like a travel bag for like toiletries um yeah it doesn't have like a big strap or anything it just has like a little one but it's um samsonite which is um i know like a pretty high-end like luggage um luggage brand and it's really clean on the inside i didn't notice anything wrong with it um so and i think they had it priced at i think it was 25 cents so, I'm like, yeah, I'll pick it up for 25 cents. A quarter. Why not, right? Right. Okay, there's that. And then I grabbed this little purse. Um, I don't remember if it's real leather or not, but it's just a cute little, you know, I don't know what to call this, shoulder bag. I don't know, it's a purse has little tassel -y details, a little cute little pocket there. Um, and this is by Hobo, which I've heard their stuff does well. Um, I've heard other resellers mention it. Um, and it appeared to be in, you know, good condition. Um, I don't really know what to look for on purses. I'm not, again, you know, purses along with shoes are definitely not my strong point. They're not my forte. Um, let me see. Okay, so the shell and the, or the outside is 100% genuine leather, and then the lining is 100% cotton. So it is leather, which is great. And um, yeah, I don't see like any stains or anything on it. Um, I mean, it has like a, I guess a little bit of like wear, a couple scratches, but just like stuff that looks natural for leather. So um, maybe there's like a little bit of of wear you know, on like the edges of the, the strap, but, um, I don't see anything major wrong with it. So I will have to, um, look up hobo bags and see what they do. See how they do. Okay. This one I thought was really cool. Um, if the strap went long enough, I would be keeping this for myself. I really like it. So it's one of those, it's a, I think it's a shoulder bag. Again, yeah, it's like a shoulder bag. And it's one of those fold over ones that has the, the zip at the top. It has a couple outside um, like magnet closure pouches. And then it has uh, like a main compartment um, with a little interior zippered pocket. Um, this one does have, you know, some some like dirt and some like little marks and things um but the reason why i got this one um is it's by lucky or lucky brand and it's italian leather so i figured that might mean it's worth some money it says 100 percent lamb leather um so yeah just it's really good quality um i'll have to, again i'll have to look it up and see what 
you know, leather lucky bags go for, but it was only like two or three dollars. So again, I thought it was worth the risk of grabbing it and seeing what I could do with it. Um, and then the last, I think, I think the last purse I got is this little, mm, this little crossbody, this little crossbody purse. It has like a cinch, um, a cinch top, uh, feels like real leather. Let me see here. And then it also has like a little coin purse that's attached. And this is by Adrian Vitadini. Um, and again, it was only like a dollar or two, so I thought it was worth the risk. And yeah, genuine leather. So yeah, I'll, I'll see how that one does as well. I thought it was kind of cute with the, the bright kind of like fuchsia color and the um, black. So I was trying to see if that was like a dark brown or a black. It's kind of hard to tell in this lighting, but I think it's black. But yeah, I just thought it was cute. So we will see how those do. So the next item I grabbed is doo -doo -doo, this one piece bathing suit. Um, there we go. Okay. So a really pretty bathing suit with this flattering, like, um, draped and crossed effect and a really pretty, um, dark blue. And the reason why I got this one is the brand. So the brand is, I don't know how to pronounce that. Bagley Mishka. I'm probably butchering that. And if I am, I'm sorry, but, um, it's. It's a brand I have heard and seen other um, resellers um, pick up before, mostly in like, I think purses and shoes, but I decided to grab this. It was $3.93, um, it's a size 12, which is great. So I'm thinking maybe in like the 35 to $40 range for this. We will see. Okay, that bag is getting full. Okay, what else do we have? Oh. Um, okay. Okay, so this needs to be buttoned up, but it's just a simple white button down kind of career style shirt. Um, nothing much to show on it really, but it's uh, Martin a Martin plus Osa, Oza, I don't know how to pronounce that, but um, I've only found one other item by them um, and it sold pretty quickly for I think around like $35 um, and they wanted $2.92 for this so I went ahead and grabbed it. It's a size 8 so maybe, I don't know, 25 to 30 on that. Okay. This is another first for me. This is another brand that I have heard a bunch of people mention before and get excited about. And this is Millie. It's a size 10 and it's um, just this really nice kind of geometric um, pattern button up shirt. I, I wanna say it's silk, let me double check. Mm, yeah, 100% silk. So, um, yeah, maybe like 35 to 40 on that. Okay, what do we have next? We have, I think this is Lucky Brand. Yes, this is Lucky Brand. And it's, I'm trying to think of, I think it's one of the Indian gods, but I don't know which one. But it's the Elephant. And I just thought it was really cute. Has a zip going partially down the back. I'm not going to try and show the the tag because the price tag is covering it. Size small, probably around twenty twenty five on that. Okay. 
Okay, I was excited to find this. Um, so I, I, I found this and I was like, I, I think I've heard of that brand and I think it's good, but I need to double check. So I, I checked um, comps and sure enough, it does, seems like it does pretty well, but it's just this long sleeve um, open neck or off the shoulder long sleeve top. Um, but it has this really cute kind of like crochet detail across the back with the cutout there. So simple, but really cute at the same time. It was $3.93 and it is Lovers and Friends. Um, for some reason, I thought that was part of the Johnny Was like family of um, of lines or collections or, or brands, but it may not be. I'm probably just remembering incorrectly, but, um, it's a size small and yeah, comps looked really good on this, on this brand. So I was excited to find that one. Okay. Next is this really cute little sleeveless blouse. This is by Ted Baker, and it's this really pretty red with the black lace over it, like a floral lace pattern. And it's a size one, which I'm guessing they have. Um, I'm I'm guessing they have like some sort of vanity sizing or like their own sizing system. So I'll have to look on their website and see what that translates to. Um, I'm guessing it's an extra small or a small though, because it's it looks pretty tiny. But there's the tag there. And then also on like the edge of the shoulder um, it has a little, a little dangly thing that says Ted Baker as well. So I think that's what it says. Yeah, Ted Baker. So yeah, I just thought that was cute. Um, and it was $2.92. I will have to look this up and see what it goes for. Okay, next up is this adorable little dress. Just this really cute kind of hippie vibes with this cute little like beaded placket on the front. It's a little dress and the size is five to six years and it's mini Bowden. So super cute and um, I paid $3.93 for it. And I'm probably going to ask around 25 for this. And it has um, the hidden zipper on the back. So yeah, super, super cute. I absolutely love that. Okay, next is this really pretty kind of um, deep olive green blouse. It's by Maeve, which is one of my favorite anthropology brands to sell. It's a size, uh, size 10, I believe. I think that's what that says. And it was $3.93, but it was on sale for $1.91. So I thought that was a great price. It's super pretty. So um, I'll probably price it at around $25. Okay. This is a really cute button up long sleeve, or no, rather um, three quarter sleeve shirt. A nice little pattern there. And this is by Horny Toad, which is now known as Toad & Co or Toad & Company. So there's that, it's a size medium. And I paid $2.92 for this, so probably around 25 for this as well. Um, and I think it has tab sleeve. Yeah. So it has the button up there so you can roll the sleeves up and, and button them up. So that's always a nice option. And that's two bags down and now onto the last bag. So this is a really pretty kind of like almost like a pale taupe color. It's not quite cream, um, 
but just a a layered um I think it's silk and it's a little shell and it's by Eileen Fisher let me see if I can find the care tag where are you I just saw you there you are this is yep yeah, 100% silk so yep yeah, top layer under layer both silk so I just thought this was pretty it was 393 and it's a size small I like the the layered look to it on the bottom it's just really pretty so probably around 35 for this okay this I thought was super super cute I can there's the top let me get this buttoned real quick okay there we go how cute is that so it has this beautiful like I wouldn't really call it embroidery it's more like layered like fabric like applique or something and then it has like this black um, light mesh over this like creamy pink color but yeah super super pretty it has some more um, of the flower detailing on the back and this is by Odile which is another anthropology brand and it's what size are you I don't know what size you are oh size large so good size and super super pretty and it was 393 so probably um 25 to 35 depending on what comps look like for this intimately free people or free people intimately however you want to say that it's just this nice kind of wide flowy tank with the raw hem and it's this nice kind of medium dusty purple color um and yeah it's it's gonna be hard to to show the the tag again because of the price tag um and it's a size small so probably 20 25 on that Do -do. and this is another cabbie piece it was $3.93 and it was on sale for $1.91 and it's just a cute little is this a floral print or no it's kind of like a paint splatter print and it has kind of like a you know ruffle details and then kind of ruching around the waist area for a more fitted look and let me see, do you have the style number? Do -do. Yes, you do. So, um, yeah, same probably 20, 25 on that. What do we have here? Okay, so this is another band shirt or artist shirt, whatever. So this is for Halsey. And it has this really cool skeleton hand and like rose print. And then um, it says gloom and glam, which I'm guessing is, um, um, I'm guessing it's, it's like an album name. I'm not that familiar with Halsey, but enough to know that it's, it's a band or artist, perhaps female, but I don't know. I'm sure I've heard their music, but I, I don't listen to the radio a whole lot. So yeah. So yeah, um, there's no tags on this one or size indicator or anything. Um, so I'll just provide measurements like I do with everything, but probably around 25 for that. Okay. What are you? Oh, oh, this was exciting. Okay. So when I've only found this brand one other time, um, or no, I lie. I found it twice, but the first time I found it, I was literally, it was like my very first um, sourcing trip and I had never heard of the brand before. And I was like, oh, that sounds dumb. It's probably nothing. Show me your moo moo. 
which most of you will know is a good brand. So, so yeah, show me your Moo Moo. Um, the thing with this one is that I, I think I, I'm going to say it's probably a swimsuit cover up, but it's just plain. It's just white. Like there's nothing, there's nothing on it. Um, yeah, it does have like slightly longer sides, which is like kind of the only interesting thing about it. But yeah, show me your Moo Moo. Like I think more of like bright colors and patterns and things like that. So yeah, so I don't know how well this one's going to do since it's just white. Um, but it's, it's in good condition. Um, you know, I didn't look at it that closely. I pretty much saw the brand and threw it in my cart. Um, but it is, it is plain white. So even if I do find a spot or something on it, um, it can, you know, should be able to, to pretty easily bleach it away. So, um, it's 100% polyester and it says, love your moo. She loves you. Okay. But anyway, so yay, show me your moo moo. Um, I'll have to look this up and see what it does price wise. But I was still excited to find it, even though it's not one of like the more colorful or fun um, pieces. Okay, next is another piece by Eileen Fisher. And this time it's this pretty kind of lime green shirt with a little bit of like, I don't know what you call this. This is like, it's not really draped. It's almost ruched. I don't know what you call that, but like where it's like gathered there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still learning terms all these months later. Um, let me see if this is silk. I think it is. Yeah, 100% silk again. So, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, so I picked this up. It was $2.92. Size extra small if I didn't say that already. So probably maybe $30 for this. Okay, so I was excited to see this one as well. I um, actually found two pieces by this brand um, um, on this, this sourcing trip. And I've only found this brand once before and it had been a brand I'd never heard of before. It's a brand that I've never seen anyone mention, but it was a nice item um, and I think it was a dollar. So I decided to go ahead and grab it. Um, and it ended up selling in less than 24 hours for my full asking price of $35. So when I found two pieces in this shopping trip, I definitely grabbed them quick like. So, and the brand is Vici or Vici, Vici. I don't, I don't know. I think it's Italian. I think it's in my head. I say Vici because it sounds better. Um, it's a size medium and it's this really cool kind of billowy kind of metallic -y silver blouse. I love the billowy sleeves with like the gathered at the at the ends um but yeah it has this nice v-neck it's just simple on the back um but yeah i thought this was really cool um i don't know if it does it have yeah it has it has a name on it t-y-c-h-e so I'm, I'm guessing that's the style name and then it also has a style number um so i should be able to find this um so yeah um i paid 3.93 for it and maybe another 35 dollars we'll see but i was happy to get it okay this is doo -doo -doo -doo. A really cute sleeveless like corseted blouse thing anyway really pretty it has this really nice kind of like watercolor floral print um and it's belted and it is by nanette lapore which i've um has done well for me in the past it's a size two um I don't think that's vanity size, and I think that's just a size, or like a regular size too. And then it has um, this strap like on the inside, um, so you can make it, I think, a little bit tighter. I'm not really sure how that works, but anyway, I thought it was really pretty, and 
it was $3.93, but it was on sale for $1.91. So I thought that was quite reasonable for this brand. I think this is polyester, but let me double check. I know, acetate, rayon, and then the lining is polyester with some lycra. Yeah, so it does have some polyester. But yeah, I just thought it was really pretty. So maybe um, around 35 for this. So it does have some light boning, not like proper corset boning, but um, it does have a little bit of structure to it. So really pretty. Okay, so I thought this was really cute. This has kind of like a vintage vibes to me. It's this black kind of skirted hem blouse with these fun colored like ruffle sides. And it has the little button closure and keyhole on the back. Just a fun, you know, cute little blouse. And it's by Dolce Vita. Um, and it's a size large. There's that. So yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. Maybe um, 25 to 30 on that. We will see. It's not a brand I am super familiar with. Okay, next is, what are you? What are you? Oh, this is the other Fabletics item that I can't figure out. Um, hello. I, I literally don't know. What are you? Okay. Um, oh, okay. I get it. Sorry. It's like holding it all kinds are wrong. Okay. So just a little tank with slightly longer sides and it has an open slouch back and then it just has the strap going from side to side to keep the, the straps on and there goes my cat. So this is a size extra small and it was $1.91. So anytime I can get one of these, you know, known or well-known um, like athletic brands for like, I'd say $2 or less um, and they're in good condition, then I go ahead and pick them up. And again, this does have its tearaway tag, so it has the style number. So hopefully I will be able to look that up. So maybe 15, 20 on that. Okay, so this is yet another new to me brand. Um, I It caught my eye because I thought the graphic was adorable. And it's this cute image of two kitty cats. And it says, um, best friends forever and then the brand is going to be hard to see because of the price tag which was two dollars 92 cents but it's um zoe carson and carson is with two s's and it's a size uh small and when i looked up comps i couldn't find this exact shirt but um other shirts by the same brand look like they do pretty well so i went ahead and picked it up it was it was cute so um, I don't remember what comps were off the top of my head, but I'm thinking maybe 35 for this, if memory sort of serves correctly. Um, sorry, I keep scratching my nose. It, it has an itch for some reason. Probably all the cat fur in the air. I don't have a very good um, air filter in here. Anyway, next one is this really cute kind of um, sheer blouse it's a uh, button up it's kind of a really um pretty like dark reddish purple kind of wine color it has like ruffle details super cute and it is kimchi blue which is um an urban outfitters brand so and this is their i think their older tag um but i just thought the shirt was really cute i didn't see a a size tag up there with it do you have an interior tag? Not that I can see. Meh. That's okay. I will just provide measurements as always. But yeah, I just thought it was pretty. And it was um, $3.93, but it was on sale for $1.91. 
So they had, um, I guess the store had just had a big sale. Um, and like everything that was like where the tags were a certain color were half off, but they don't take the half off at the register. They actually like physically mark it on the tag. So I was able to find um, quite a few things that were half off, which is always nice. But most of their prices were fairly reasonable. Um, they did have a section that like, um, they had like big signs that like labeled the sections. And there was literally a section that says better clothing. Um, so I went there first and it was a lot of like the same kind of stuff that's in the normal section, but I did find a couple, um, um, nice dresses. There was a really cute free people dress that they had marked at $10 and another nice people, uh, nice people, nice free people dress that was actually brand new with tags. And they had that one marked at, um, $12.99. So I didn't pick up either one of those. And then they had, um, another dress that I, I, I was kind of tempted to get, but it was $24.99 and I don't pay that much for anything because I'm cheap. Um, but it was, a uh, Tadashi Shoji, which I know is, um, you know, pretty high end. So I was like, ah, I want to get it, but it's $25. It's like 12 other items I could get, you know, cause I don't, I didn't have that much money since, I've been sick for three weeks, so I haven't been working my normal job or doing like as much Poshmark stuff since I've just been in bed for the most of it. So I didn't get those, long story short. So, okay, next item is this cute kind of wide little crop top. And it has like this like fringy, fringy fringeness around the, the hems, which is cute. And this is by We The Free, Free People. There's the top portion of the tag. And this is a size small. So I thought this was just cute. And it was $2.92, so probably about $20 on that. What are you? Ooh, you're pretty. I don't remember you. Um, okay. Okay, ooh, this is pretty. I wish this was my size. Okay, so really pretty v-neck blouse with like three quarter sleeves or half sleeves. Um, it's like somewhere between a paisley and a floral print, but really pretty colors. It's like teal and purple and orange and a little bit of white. Um, I had to look this brand up. It's a, it's a yet another new to me brand and it's, Patrizia Pepe Ferenz, and it's a size 42. I believe it's from Italy. Um, and when I looked up this brand, the prices, you know, the comps looked pretty good. So that's why I picked it up and it was just really pretty. So, um, and this was $3.93. So again, yay for another new to me brand. And I want to say that might be silk. It's pretty soft. Let me, let me see here. Um, no, polyester. I figure at some point in time, I will be able to tell without a problem which items are poly and which items are, are silk, but it hasn't happened yet. It's like anytime I say, oh, this is silk, it turns out to be polyester. And anytime I say, oh, this must be polyester, it turns out to be silk. Oi. Okay. Next item is a Lucky Brand t-shirt with an all over like floral print, it's cute kind of cap sleeves. Just a sweet little, little tee. It was $2.92, it's a size small and I'll probably ask around 20 for that. I'm sorry this, this video is, is taking a while. I thank you if you are still watching for taking some time out of your busy day. Okay, next one is this really cute um, Stranger Things shirt. So it just has the the names of the characters. And then if you've watched the shirt, the if you've watched the shirt, if you've watched the show, you will understand why Will's name is upside down. I thought that was kind of clever. Um, so there's that, Stranger Things, size small, and it was $1.91. So probably like 15 or 20 on that. 
squeak, squeak goes my chair. I do apologize. Okay, next is a nice little v-neck shirt. It's kind of a really delicate, like purpley pink color, and it's by Vince, which again, it's really hard to see the tag. I do apologize. Naughty Echo. Size medium, and I want to say this is at least partially linen. Let me see if I'm right on that. 100% linen. Okay. Yeah. So, um, probably 25 to 35 on that, hopefully. Most of the Vince items I've found have been flawed in some way, but that one's in really good condition. So I was pretty excited about that. Okay. So this I picked up, it's just kind of a, a basic black V-neck t-shirt. Um, it kind of goes, you know, in at the bottom, it's more fitted. Um, but it's Majestic Paris for Neiman Marcus and it's 100% linen. And so I, I looked up this brand and comps actually look pretty good. So I picked it up. It was $2.92, but it was on sale for $1.91. So I don't remember what comps are, um, but maybe 25 to 35 on that, which, you know, for a plain shirt i'm pretty happy with that return um okay i'm just gonna take off the tag on that one because they're bugging me okay so this is once again a new to me brand so many of those in this haul i was really excited um when i went to that store and found so many you know new good brands so this is a really cute just um kind of almost like a checkered pattern blouse with these cute little cap sleeves and they have like this zigzag like fabric on top of the shoulders um almost like a puff sleeve but not really um slouch neck and it's sheer and this is by charles nolan new york and i did look up comps and again they look pretty good it's 100 percent silk it's a small and it was 292 I, again, I'm sorry, I don't remember what comps were, but I think maybe like 35 to 50 range for that. So I'm definitely going to have to go back to that store um, because I didn't even get to look at, at everything and I found so many great new brands. So I was excited about this, um, about that. Okay, next is this cute kind of modest is it cropped? No, I don't think it's cropped. It's just kind of on the shorter side. Um, almost like a nautical striped, like dolman sleeve shirt. Kind of gathers a little bit at the bottom. Has like that pronounced bottom uh, hem. And this is actually Zara. Yeah. Zara BW collection. So black and white collection maybe. And it was $2.92 on sale for $1.91. Um size large so yeah i just thought it was cute it has um if you can see the coloring on it has like these kind of white speckles so it's almost like a distressed distressed look but yeah i just thought it was cute kind of like basic but still kind of interesting so probably around 25 for that almost done thank you for sticking with me Okay, and then this is the other piece of Vici that I found. Um, and this is also a size medium, so I'm thinking it was probably donated by the same person, I'm guessing. And it's this cute kind of high-low white V-neck top. Just kind of simple, but a, a lot of their stuff looks just like simple and elegant. Um, and again, there's kind of part of the tag most of the tag and then let me see if this one has the style information yes okay so this one also says t-y-c-h-e at the top so that's probably not a style name but it does have a style number um so again i should be able to to find this um on google so maybe another 35 for this so and if you don't know, now you know about another brand. I'm always excited to find, you know, to find out about different brands. Okay, so this one I thought was super pretty. I love the colors. 
So it's this kind of plaid pattern. Gorgeous colors. It's like, um, has like yellow, red, purple, and black. And then the, I'd say like three quarter sleeves and cute little buttons. And this is by Silence and Noise, which is Urban Outfitters, and it's a size extra small. So there's there's that. And this was $2.92, so probably around $20 for this. Okay, this was um this was 25 cents. Um, and I don't I don't know how I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna wash it because they on the, the purses and stuff, they actually write the price numbers on them. Um, so I guess I'm gonna just put it through the wash. But anyway, it's just this little like dust bag for um, hobo. So I'm thinking of maybe including it with the hobo purse, but if not, um, I think people buy dust bags. I don't know about hobo dust bags, but it was 25 cents, so I was like, why not? So yeah. Okay, next one. Do, do, do. Okay, this is another cabbie piece and this is absolutely adorable. I wish it was my size. So it's like black and white or black and ivory. And the front um, is like a silky or polyester um, material. And it's this beautiful kind of boho or like ethnic pattern. Really, really pretty. And then the sleeves are like this uh, striped. And then on the back, it has black and white stripes. So there's, it has a lot going for it without it being like too busy. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this shirt a lot. It's a size medium and it was $3.93. And let me make sure it has a style number. It does, style 347. Oh, and the, the front is 100% um, silk. So it is silk and not polyester. Um, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever found a cabbie piece that was silk before. But yeah, I absolutely love this top. So pretty. So I'm thinking maybe up to 35 for this. But obviously I have to look it up and see if I can find some comps on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, this was super pretty. This is by Bordeaux and it's has this, um, it's, uh, it's overlaid with like black mesh and then underneath is gray. And then it has this beautiful like black, almost like floral pattern in between the gray and the mesh. Really, really pretty. And then like some ruching there with, on the mesh, as you can see. So it's an absolutely gorgeous top. It was $3.93. Um, and again, it's going to be kind of hard to see the tag. Let me see if I can just get it off. Mm -mm. Oh, two staples, really? Just got the first one off. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, Bordeaux, size large. And yeah, this is another one where um, I'm not even that girtly, but... If this was my size, I would find something to wear this with because it is absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. It's so classy and sophisticated without being like uppity or snobby, you know? I don't know. But yeah, really, really pretty. Um, so probably, I don't know, maybe 25 to 30 on that. I'll have to look it up like everything else. Okay, only a couple more items left, I promise. Okay, this one is, doo -doo -doo. what are you? Okay, so I think this is just American Apparel. Um, trying to get the stupid staples off. <laughs> Come off, I don't like you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this was two ninety two. Oh, it's next level. Okay, and it's um, another band tee, and this one is Kenny Chesney. Um, which is a country artist and it says brothers of the sun summer 2012 so it's like a tour shirt with almost um i'd say like a space dye um look to it so just cute uh size small and probably like 25 for this 
I know there's a lot of country fans out there. Okay, and then last item. Um, so I pretty much pick up, I pick up a lot of stuff that's Harry Potter just because I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Even if it's not my size, I pick it up. I really need to stop doing that, but it also sells, so I'm okay with that. So this was $2.92 and it's Harry Potter. It's a Gryffindor, kind of a Jersey style shirt. Has the Gryffindor logo there. And then it has H Potter number seven, which he played, you know, Harry Potter played Quidditch and his number um, on his jersey was number seven. So yeah, it's kind of his, his jersey, sort of, even though this doesn't look like a Quidditch jersey at all. But anyway, size medium, and I'll probably ask around 20 to 25 for that. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you like it, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Echo out.